Hello guys, you're welcome to the channel. My name is Yao Asimpi Sechere and this is Ashko TV, the official YouTube channel for Asida House Commodities. And guess what? We are in a new season of maize farming. We are in a new season of maize farming. And now, if you have any interest in maize farming, by next month, March, actually early March, by 3rd, 4th March, you should be planting. Now, what does this mean? It also means that by now, in February, 17 16 17 you should be preparing your land okay now if you have not started any of these i'm coming to show you i'm coming to give you one or two things that you should consider doing that you you might be 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 done with some of them if you have not you can still you know get into it depending on how fast you can be because you only have Technically, you only have two weeks until planting begins. That is if you are in the middle belt here or you are in southern Ghana. Now, let's get into the video. First of all, what you should know, what you, you, you should consider first going into maize farming is, of course, your land. And how are you going to get your land if you don't have it by yourself? The best option I, can, I could advise for you is... To rent the land of course you have to rent it why would you buy a land if you are a first timer going into farming you have to rent if you have that option available you have to rent the land and for now i should believe that depending on where you are where well, you can budget 400 cities for a year for an acre of land so depending on the, on the number of acres that you want 400 cities you should be able to multiply by the number of acres and then know how much you should budget going into renting of a maize farm land now the second now the second thing you should look at going into maize farming after you have secured your land is your land preparation okay the land preparation mind you consist of weeding the land or clearing of the weeds and then depending on where you are you might also need to plow the land okay so this is what comes into weeding of the land or clearing of the land if the land is a virgin forest you have to what clear the trees and then clear the um the weeds okay now from last year it was around 250 300 cities now that one too you can budget 400 cities for that for an acre that is for clearing the land and then for plowing of the land another 400 cities so how, how many 400 cities do you have now you have three of them you have thousand two expenses you are making on just what acre of land now we'll get into the very interesting part but for now we are talking about what clearing of your weed after you have secured your land clearing of your weed and plowing your land so now that you have secured your land and you have also cleared your land the next thing which will be which you actually happen in march once again depending on where you find yourself if you're in the middle belt here or you're in southern ghana then by march you should be what planting now planting has its own expenses of course you have to select the best um, variety of maize because this interesting part that i'm going to give you is or has to do with the type of maize that you plant the type of maize variety that you plant okay there are a lot of varieties out there speak with the agri extension offices at your area or speak with the farmers at your area the maize farmers at your area i always say that getting maize information or farming information you can read all the reads you can read all the books you can listen to all the podcasts you can listen to you can watch all the videos but the people that are already farming on the land that or in the area that you are going to farm they have a lot of practical information about the land about the rainfall patterns about things that are very technical to your farming that you will not get anywhere so don't do away with the people that are already farming there so by so doing you are likely to get the best the best variety that 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 does well there maybe because of how local the place is you probably probably haven't used a lot of you know different varieties to know to give you the best um advice on the type of varieties though varieties you know but 
That also means that if you contact them about the type of variety, you should be able to know that, okay, this variety, it gives this, it normally on average gives this, this yield. And so if you want a better yield, then maybe you have to visit uh, agri extension offices or, you know, do more inquiries outside of the people around to get the best um, variety that will give you your expected yield. Now, I may not be able to give you the price of the varieties or the maize varieties available because they are all different. They, they may range between 200 to as much as 500 cities, you know, per kilo, per, you know, um, acre or equivalent or its equivalent. But what I can tell you is the cost of planting. Okay, now you should be rest assured that you're going to pay nothing less than 150 cities for an acre for the people who are going to plant it. All right. Now that you have been able to plant your maize and probably seen germination, you should be looking at your fertilizer application and your weed control. Remember, weed control is very essential because the nutrients in the soil is going to be competed by your maize and the weed. Okay, your maize is going to compete with weeds, you know, for the nutrients in the soil. Now, if you want to prevent that, if you want only your maize to have all these nutrients, what you should be doing is to what? Control the weed. Take care of your weed. Make sure your weed does not grow to fight your maize, you know, for, for nutrients. Okay, so you have to look at your, your weed control and then fertilizer, all, we all know that our lands, our lands has been used overly, 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 you know, and over. So it is very essential that you add fertilization because mind you, I know you are doing this as a business, not just as a passion. If you are just doing it as a passion, then fine. You, you are just, you are just okay or find it, finds it therapeutic going to your farms. If that is why you're farming, fine. But for you and I who are doing it for business, you have to add your fertilizer. You have to make sure that you get fertilizer applied on your maize. Okay. And for as much as I know, for an acre, you're likely to spend 500 cities on fertilizer application because you're going to add, if you want to go by the MPK granula, it is there, like 240, 250 for a bag. And an acre and two acres is supposed to take three bags. So let's say one and a half bag for an acre, right? So if you have that, then you should also, then secondly, after four weeks into the, into the growth of the plants, you also add some ammonia. Okay, so that and that, you should be looking at 500 cities for an acre. For the whole period of you know the the the, the growth of, of the maize okay so that is for your fertilizer application now for your weed control it will depend okay because some people prefer using the um, weeding it manually okay weeding the weeds okay manually others also prefer using chemicals to control the weed Okay, so depending on that one, that one is also a gray area that I may not be able to give you the exact information concerning the price. So that one, you can leave it as gray and do your own research about it. Whatever you, your preference is, uh, for last year, for last season, the weeding was 200 cities for an acre. And when you calculate the amount of chemicals if you want to go the chemical application way it is also equivalent so so let's just say weed control will also be like 200 cities okay so weed control 200 cities fertilizer application uh 500 cities so you have 700 cities there okay now this is the interesting part because i know that you watching me today you want to know that after all these expenses after all these Paying and paying and paying. What am I going to get out of it? What is the end game? Now, let's talk about harvest. Once again, we are using, depending on the, um, the variety that you're planting, but I'm telling you that 
in this time don't use you you have you have seen you have heard these things that i'm talking about these expenses 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 so why will you let me ask this question why will you go for inferior variety knowing that you're going to spend all this you're going to make all these expenses okay so i advise that you do your best research and go for a very good a very good variety out there i am not advertising for anybody so i'm not mentioning any any names i did it la last year okay i did it last season now now this time go do your own research get your the best variety out there and then do what make sure that you have the best yield now for those modified varieties out there this is what i have seen that at least you're going to get 15 bucks of maize so normally they, they they get 20. okay for the people for those that have had use good varieties modified varieties and has done all these steps has gone through all these steps they have their weed control fine their fertilizer application also done well they did they, they normally say they have had 20 bucks of maize so we are going to use that as a standard yes 20 bucks of maize all right now if you have 20 bucks of maize and you are selling one for 400 cities you're talking about 8,000 cities from what as revenue okay because we are going to take out the expenses out of it right so you are having 400 um 400 by what 20 which is 8,000 cities now with all the expenses that we have talked about going from renting your land clearing your land i mean preparing your land and to planting get let's take getting um your 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 maize variety out but planting your maize applying your fertilizer and controlling your weed we should be talking about 2100 or 2050 cities okay now let's leave room for let's leave room for sundry for sundry expenses okay or miscellaneous expenses now the miscellaneous will take care of um the miscellaneous will take care of it should take care of uh the, the cost of the maize that you're going to plant itself cost of maize which is you know we are not able to get for you because of course the maize variety that you might want who may be different from what another person wants okay so for maize the variety that you want to plant it will fall into miscellaneous accounts and then also look at something like um um the fertilizer application and all those things you're also looking at what and other expenses because people who are laborers who are going to plant who are going to apply this ammonia and granola fertilizer they are going to charge you something okay now you're also going to look at the harvesting you're going to look for laborers so it is liberal 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 for harvesting too laborers are going to charge you something so let's get at all of them and let's say it's hundred it's, it's a thousand cities for an acre this is a thousand cities for an acre okay so we have adding it to to what we've been able to you know accumulate already we should be having some thirty thousand and fifty cities or three thousand cities okay now the revenue that we spoke about is what eight thousand now you have expenses accumulated expenses of thirty thousand or thereabout which means you are making a profit of yeah five thousand or four thousand five hundred if you're going to be um, you're going to have to transport your maize from the farms to whatever you're going to sell it maybe selling expenses also will come in so let's just let's just say four thousand five hundred let's just say you've made expenses of three thousand five hundred for an acre and you are making you're making a revenue of eight thousand cities which means you're making a profit of four thousand five hundred i don't think that's such a bad idea but once again don't let don't just listen do your own research i always say don't just listen to what i'm saying but do your own research as well all right so there you have it 
get your research, get this information, add it to your research, add it to whatever information that is on the ground, get um, your maze, start something. Five acres, ten acres, start something. Okay, and let's have the good stories. Let's feed the country, let's feed this continent, and let's feed the world. We are the farmers, we are the feed, we are the, uh, we, we feed the world basically. All right, let's do that and let's make money out of it. All right, and let's say most importantly, let's talk about the good stories in this business, in agribusiness. Once again, my name is Yawa Simpiza Chere, and until we meet in, in the next one, it's bye bye for now. Leave your comments, like this video, and share it. All right, that is how you're going to help us. If, you're go, if you've been looking at, you know, there are a lot of consultations that people ask. People come for consultation. I don't take anything because I see it as not part of what our main activity. That's not our main job. So when I say stuff, you call me and I give you guidelines. It's for free. I don't do those consultations, at least not for now. I don't do it. Okay. Because I have a motive of, be, you know, um, helping as much as I can. I don't have all the information, but the ones that I have, you call, I give them to you. Now, the best way you can help me also or help this channel grow for others also to benefit is to like the video, comment, and then share it. All right. Once again, my name is Yawa Simpiza Chere. This is Ashko TV, the official YouTube channel for Aceda House Commodities. Remember, Ashko TV or Aceda House Commodities is a maze trading entity. Now, we have maze everywhere we go. That is maze behind me. A lot has been supplied. A lot is in, 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 our, in our other warehouses. We have maize for poultry farmers, for animal feed producers, for um, fish feed produ producers, or for fish farmers, animal um, farmers. Get into contact with us. Let us supply you this maize. Let us do this business. And let um, us build on this beautiful journey that we have started. Thank you very much. Until we meet in the next one, my name is Yawa Simpson. Yeah, I was in PCH. Bye bye for now.